Hello and welcome to another episode. <laughs> welcome to the Gadget Inspector channel where we're into all kinds of drones and all kinds of gadgets. <laughs> if you're into that, you're in the right place. Well, let's jump right into this. So I'm out here with my uh, Mavic 2 Pro and I'm getting ready to go to a flight. This is a new spot that I have discovered. It's just on the fringe of a Class C uh, airport. So I'm gonna show you how to submit an airspace authorization request through the Kitty Hawk app. Okay, and after this we'll get into more of the details, but we're gonna jump right in. Uh, this is my first time actually going through it, so let's see how easy or not that it is. Okay, so here we are in the Kitty Hawk app. You see we're on the front page here. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to submit a uh, request for lands authorization. But first I want to give you a, a, a look at the airspace. You can see where we are right here is just on the fringe of a Class C airport. So if I were to submit the uh, request right now, it wouldn't go through um, because there's no need to submit a request when you're not in controlled airspace. Okay, uh, It's just a waste of time. So what we're gonna do is I'll submit the request for somewhere in here. Uh, and we'll just pick a spot, say here. So let's click on the plus sign, request lands authorization. All of your pilot information should be here. You should have already uh, completed the uh, lands readiness and I'll show you that in a moment. Uh, phone number, part 107 certification number, issue date, and name. Okay, then you're gonna put in your date and time, 545. Duration, we'll say, we'll just say 15 minutes, and we're going to pick the Mavic 2 Pro. Now, here, um, there's a place in Kitty Hawk to enter all of your aircraft, uh, and you're going to put all the details, whether it's uh, used for commercial purposes, you put serial numbers, all that good stuff. So, it's all here uh, so that you can retrieve it. And down here, there's some pretty good notes about what. Um, you can't get authorized through Lance, and it's essentially waivers. You can't do waivers through Lance. And again, I already mentioned that in another video. Okay, so now we're going to draw our flight area. So, like I said, we're going to come down. Uh, it is Halloween. Why not do the cemetery? <laughs> that seems fitting. Okay, so we clicked on draw flight area. So this box comes up, and you can manipulate it. You can change it if you want. Uh, then click on height select we're going to say up to 300 uh, feet uh, and oops, down here you can check whether there's any notams TFRs or anything else any kind of airspace restrictions uh, then click next and these are your terms for commercial operation are you, are you a certified part 107 pilot are you going to follow the guidelines maintain VLOS uh, go slower than 100 miles per hour uh, fly when visibility is compliant and you can check that on that front page it's going to give you the visibility I think it was 10 miles on today three statute miles is the uh, minimum requirement to fly um, less than 55 pounds of course comply with any airspace restrictions and TFRs which there are none okay agree to terms and conditions click next Okay, now it's telling me I'm eligible for auto approval. This isn't submitted to the FAA yet, um, but this is a, a, a kind of a staging area here telling you what the airport is, the, the airspace, and so forth. And we're going to click submit, and this should be pretty instantaneous. And it is. So request authorized. I should get a text message as well, uh, but this is great because it's all self-contained within the app. Um, so you're getting your approval documented right in here. You can also double check your flight plan and make sure you comply with everything. Everything is self-contained in the app, which is great. Click on assets to check your authorizations. Uh, so we can see that I submitted one earlier, but here's the one I just submitted right now for uh, 545. There's your... Uh, there's your approved authorization so if someone happens to stop by and says hey what are you doing here you're not supposed to be able to fly here well you can pull this out and say hey I've got my authorization I'm on the up and up 
I'm going to follow all rules and regulations. Leave me alone. <laughs> all right, so that's Lance, man, in a nutshell. Pretty darn simple, pretty easy. Now, uh, we'll go ahead and jump in. I'll give you some more details and show you what else the Kitty Hawk app can do. So I was given full access to all of the Kitty Hawk features by one of the owners. And from first glance, it's really robust in features. So whether you are a casual or serious drone pilot or a part 107 commercial operator, I think you'll find this app useful. It was actually a little overwhelming when I first started looking into everything you can do. It's a one-stop shop that allows you to maintain all of your relevant data in one place, readily accessible from your smartphone. If you're like me, you probably have more than one app that you reference when you go out to fly. You might have one for airspace maps, one for KP index, one for pre-flight checks or maintenance logs, etc., etc. With this one app, you get flight planning, sectional charts and airspace maps, weather reports, AKA METARs, NONUMs and TFRs, and you can manage your entire fleet of drones from here. And as I just showed you, you also get access to LANs for real-time airspace authorizations. If you have a DJI drone, one of the coolest features is the ability to sync all of your flight logs from the DJI GO 4 app into Kitty Hawk. Now that's gonna bring in battery details like number of cycles and drone details like number of flights and total flight time. So this is a great way to manage and maintain information about your drones. Then in addition to pre-flight checklists, you can also use Kitty Hawk to set up maintenance logs. All right, that's it everybody. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about the app, let me know in the comments. Or if you're currently using Kitty Hawk, let me know how you're liking it. If you're not a subscriber, please consider doing so. I have a lot of good content coming. Make sure to click the bell though, or you may never know when I upload new videos. Kind of a quirk with YouTube right now. Well, until we meet again, be good to somebody and be good to yourself. I'll see you in the next one. Later. <laughs>